Hello, this is Rainbow Rising Freedom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. These are channeled intuitive messages for the collective. And I decided to record here because we're in the midst of everything, right? And um, maybe some of you are at the point of realizing that there is no point trying to control things. There is no point uh, having a plan even. Because um, there's something like beyond we could ever could possibly imagine and it's happening right now and it's really um, good to catch that wave there is a wave to catch that's the message that I have today and the story is not finished so you might be called to continue a story that you started over a year ago the detour is never a detour I feel like there was an obstacle um, from a human point of view that was uh, here to help you transform into a um, fuller version of yourself because I don't want to say better um, there's a delivery also something will be given gifted delivered and also, um, something's double. So um, you might be receiving something or um, you might have been waiting for an offer, for a response, and suddenly you get two offers or you get interest from two people or so something is double that you don't expect. You only received one and this is happening right now. Also, there's a really strange mixture of envy and admiration in the air. Um, it's just so sad, I mean, any of you who started waking up and uh, try to rise from your knees and actually live a life and have a life and, and be and not apologize for existing and not exist to please others like getting out of this design uh, has probably encountered a lot of resistance, a lot of um, so-called attacks, like pushbacks and so on. And these are groups, these are groups of people. I mean, I see them, I, I just... I, I just feel sorry for these people, you know, because they're like, they study you and they take notes about what you believe and how you read signs and then they try to mislead you so for example um, if you're in a new group and you're um, in training or you've just been hired there will be at least one two three people in the group that are watching right that are not who they seem and you will right away know it I mean whoever's waking up to their spiritual gifts right away sees beyond this and you can right away read the person and how scared they are of you but at the same time they'll be spying they'll be pretending that they are part of the team part of the pack that they like you so much they might even stroke you on your back or something but the thing is because of the um, mismatch in the vibration probably after touching you because you're vibing so high uh, some people might like uh, trip or have a fall or have a, have a problem with their leg or their foot or something uh, <clears throat> because of the energy you exude um, people will be literally for some of you like l staring in your face hoping that you don't see them that you don't see the deception behind it 
And I think we're currently at the level where we are not triggered by that anymore, most of us, and we just don't react to it. We respond with peace and compassion. When you realize how pathetic it is, for some people to live their lives constantly fulfilling orders of somebody above them to spy on their friend. You're, these people are in constant, constant deception energy. I feel like if you're vibing high, these people will be falling away from you. Or if you try to go out together, like even like in a group, things will not work out. So for example, you might go and get something to eat and that food won't be there anymore. It will run out. You will want to order a coffee. The coffee machine will not work. Something like that. And it's normally um, just signaling that this is not the connection you're um, encouraged to invest in, to continue, but obviously you will know it. What I'm saying is, it's up to you if you want to call it out and say in that person's face hey i see you you know i see what you're doing because people might really try to like write a script and tell you like copy your name copy your birth year and try to weave a story that they will throw on the table when you're like among your friends hoping that you will take it as a sign because you know many of us um, see read believe in good omens right we follow the bright omens the good signs and sometimes there is i'm speaking from experience i mean i don't know what people do with their time and how come they even decide to walk that path how is it even possible that somebody is just investing their time energy thinking uh, into trying to delay you i was hearing that yesterday that all these like convenient traps were there to delay you you know what's a convenient trap is something that you think is good for you and in a sense it is convenient but it's not where you're supposed to be it's just keeping you in a place where that you're supposed to visit only temporarily and keep going there's a purpose to your journey for many of us we're uh, like spiritual sailors we're not supposed to park our boat yet we're supposed to be out there and keep moving and some very lucrative sometimes uh, job offers might be there put on our path deliberately to delay us but we're only getting better and better and re at reading this at realizing that there is no point to even react to it how are you going to talk to somebody with this kind of mindset who chooses to study someone day and night what they eat who they speak to and then try to distort us i mean what kind of mindset do you have to be in mindset of zero self-respect vibe of zero self-love and believe me you will not stick vibrationally with these people you might kind of just like cross paths very briefly you know but when there's someone who has a very funny reaction to you for example they wouldn't look you in the eye you will try to make a contact, you will come up with a genuine conversation and they would be just trying their best for you not to look them in the eyes because they realize you will read them, you will see through them right away, okay? And the next thing they do after they finally realize that they can't avoid your eye contact, they would be like this. 
this is how stressful you are to them your whole existence the fact that you won't be deceived some of these people they want to be your friends only to stick around you to study you even better they might try to sabotage you at work throwing some stories um, but you're bigger than that you're higher than that and now this is the focus on creation maybe for years you've known what you wanted to do how you wanted to go about your life what you wanted what what was your passion right these passions ever since you were born i don't believe they are ever erased you know they don't dissolve it's just that sometimes we are in survival mode for so long and we battle just to get up over and over that we for, forget our joy we forgot to be joyful i i recently spoke to a so-called stranger which i don't believe there's any strangers on this planet everybody is a friend we haven't met yet and we were talking about how joy has been forgotten and how we really need like children and all these joyful circumstances simple acts of fun in our lives to loosen up to remember why we're even here because we've forgotten we have forgotten the truth 777 Last night specifically, there was a zero point and guidance. You're being guided. So tap into your heart, try to tune out all the distraction and provocations even, right? People only speak and see you from how they see themselves. So it's, it's quite a challenge to actually talk to anyone because rarely ever anyone nowadays wants to listen wants to hear you most people just wait for their turn to speak and to actually have a deep deep meaningful conversation when we swap perspectives and we try to step into each other's shoes for a while just to understand what the other person's experiencing wow this is a gift if you meet someone like that honestly it just helps to grow so much but it's very rare but i feel the spirit of the spider and many of us will actually be stepping into the vibration of love community belonging togetherness union family And you might want to call your grandpa, actually. I'm standing by a restaurant called the Grandpa. Um, maybe I need to call mine too. You might want to just reach out to people instead of expecting or waiting for them to reach out to you first. Mm. Another thing is like, if you give, don't expect to receive in return. Things come back in many unexpected ways but don't necessarily expect from this specific person to give you back, to understand. Giving and letting go, I think it's another theme, another level now. And really not feeling any kind of resentment in your heart if someone just takes and leaves, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go now. I just want to pull one more card for today so that we um, can close this with some sort of um, theme of the day. Okay, and there we go. We've got the magician. I had number 17 show up lately, two days ago, which is number of manifestation and so is the magician. So you are weaving your reality more and more 
with deeper focus you are just with your laser focus you are cutting out the path through all the obstacles that you were that were put in your way you are cleaving the way to the reality that you desire so congratulations because someone here is really mastering their abilities here take care now and have a miraculous day bye bye